to go back with the Indian national squad. Then after my class 10, I passed. I went to class 11 and 12. I have done. Then when I, I passed my class 12, I have done a secretarial course from law to house. When I passed my class 10, uh, 10 uh, me and all of, some of my class 10 friends, we were uh, shifted to a reintegration flat where we live on our own. We have got two flats and we stay seven of us. Where we have to um, maintain our own budget which Sister Seal provides and we do our own cooking, we maintain the house on our own and we stay on our own. Extremely responsible, um, extremely caring, very compassionate kind of a child. Very, she's now a grown young woman now and she has her first job in Amory, A A M O I. Ms. Shefali Bishash is working with us in AMRI Hospital in Stakuria for approximately a year or more. I know Shefali, she is very hard working and she has got an excellent uh, public relations capacity. We know that she has come from a very humble background and we, the hospital management, I personally uh, wish her a long and very prosperous life. Uh, and she is really a, a person that we could be very well proud of. Very, very well adjusted and very capable and very good with the younger children. And with that, I am also doing my graduation, that is BSW, Bachelor of Social Work from um, Vidya Sagar Samiti Mandir College. I want to give my father, this is my first salary. That is why I have come to give my father. Yes, I have plans. Since I am walking now, I want to take my father and my small brother and we want to live together like a happy family. Hello, I am Shireen Lazarus. I am 24 years old. I am doing my bachelor's degree from Loretta College. I am in my third year. Oh, Shireen was studying in Loretta Dharampala and in class 7 she has failed and the fees was very high. We couldn't pay because my husband was an alcoholic. Then I went to Sister Cyril to give her some concession or some help from her and she stood forward and helped me out. I, I studied uh, till class 7 in Laretto Dharamtala and since I was very weak in maths so I uh, thought of uh, doing my uh, further studies from uh, NIOS which is an open national uh, institute and so uh, so I came into Laretto Shialda and then my journey, life journey started from here. Shireen also came to us late. She was a, actually she was in Durham Tulla as a younger child, and she did badly there. And she came here, and uh, she was being shunted into open school there, and so she came across to me, and I tested her, and I couldn't see any reason why she shouldn't go on into class eight like everybody else, and we kept her here, and um, she came right up to our class ten. Sister gave me an opportunity to do my Madhya mix which is a West Bengal board and uh, I did my uh, ma Madhyamik 
but again i i backed in uh, my maths all tears in my eyes crying because i had failed my class 10 exam board examination i came to sister cyril asking her to give me my le school leaving certificates because i i didn't have hope of studying anymore i thought myself to be a failure she failed her class 10 the first time so she has faced a lot of failure in in her life and very very depressed wanted to drop out of school wanted to go away and they were in a very very bad financial state very 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 bad at that stage um and i said to her father look i let her become a rainbow child and let her be here and repeat this and she can earn her way by looking after the younger children and so on very responsible girl and the father began to cry so then i realized how bad their situation was she had been a number of times in during that year when she was doing her class 10 they she had been hungry they just hadn't had food in the house in that small house during summer we remember how tough it would be to stay in that room all together and my daughter having lot of problems from traveling coming going from all the way to sialda to to bihala she am having trouble then uh, you take please take a help over my daughter this she can stay in hostel as a yet my daughter is willing to stay there so okay i will help her daughter you come and stay in my hostel but to once a week or twice a week you can see your daughter instead of leaving my school sister gave me another chance of rejoining my school and starting my life my studies i joined and i even started staying in the rainbow i'm very fortunate to stay in this well furnished flat to have such comfortable life i had never thought of such comfortable rooms because i remember my past when we would stay in a slum in a small small house my parents whatever he, my father whatever he would earn would anyhow manage to run the house but we would have lot of problems he would drink and so little bit money whatever he would give mummy she would try to manage the house my brother my sister me we were all growing up with lot of difficulties so uh, then she came in then and then she has never looked back she has done very well in her studies and is now in her third year in rural college and again uh, very promising and sharin stood up and said i'm sharin lazarus i'm a street child and i remember the shock in the in the eyes and the delight in my own heart and the whole class of about 280 gave her a spontaneous clap now since i have come so far and within few months i'll be finishing my graduation this is not the end i still wish to study continue my studies by doing ma I would like to have a jo good job so that I can be independent and even I can I wish to extend my helping hand to others so that they get an opportunity in life as I have got Over the years when she came to her final year graduation and this is the joy of this particular young woman's success she was elected the president of the icaf in this college the all india catholic university students union and i'm very proud of her my what i am i was like from nothing i am something today so this is just because of sister cyril and the school and that that's all my my i pray for my sister sir that she has taken so much pain for my daughter from from that from from class 8 she had now she doing the graduation in that school only lot of she have done for my daughter
And all of these have very promising, it's not just simply their brains, but they are very promising hearts. They are all people who have a lot of compassion, a lot of uh, interpersonal skills. Uh, they have no problem to mix with people. I took them home to, at least not Teresa, but I took um, Shafali and Podo and uh, Shirin home to, uh, back to Holland. And they were really, uh, all, all I could say is that I was extremely proud of them and so is everybody else. And just one more um, small thing, uh, I gave them each 50 euros to spend in Holland and they refused to spend it. They said we won't waste that much money, that will feed so many children in India. And they collected all the little bits and pieces of, of um, you know, from the hotels and wherever they got gifts, they saved up everything. And they came back and they made little presents and with a lovely little card attached to it to say thank you to all the staff members here who had prepared them for that journey to Holland. And I think that that really sums up the characters of all of them very well.